Watches have always fascinated me, and by this I mean real watches, timepieces that just don't give you the time, that are a manifestation of precision engineering, mature craftsmanship, and distinct styling. Mechanical watches today are seen by enthusiasts as works of art thanks to their complexity and handcrafted design. What really makes these watches extremely unique and desirable is the fact that First of all, they are put together with love and are almost always handcrafted. Number two, a mechanical watch is almost always for life and they deliver exceptional longevity. Number three, mechanical watches can be passed down between generations and they are considered timeless pieces. Number four, the movement of your wrists make these clocks tick and this makes them somewhat like living objects. And number five, mechanical watches appreciate and value over time, and this makes them extremely smart investments. Well, I do have a few automatic watches of my own, but nothing particularly unique, nothing special or custom. So I went on the web and searched for custom automatic watch, and I landed up on a few websites, and the likes of the watches I landed up on were Jacob & Co. Richard Mill, Roger Dubois, and Maurice Lacroix. They were good, but um, the slight caveat being that they were all priced right around the price of my house. Um, so, change of plans, I'm gonna build one. I searched on and I found a few companies that would sell mechanical watch kits, basically like DIY kits. This was interesting, but um, it was still limiting my imagination. I went to search further for all the parts, tools and the accessories that I would actually need to build the watch. And I went to the different e-commerce platforms like eBay and AliExpress where I tried to search for these particular parts and eventually I found them. The choice on AliExpress was almost unlimited, so AliExpress it was. I spent a few days trying to search and shortlist, validate specs, and eventually I drew up this card. So the first thing that we need for this build is a watch movement. I want to build a simple diver's watch with just a date complication, so I'm going with the Seiko NH35. This Seiko NH35A is a premium, very high accuracy movement, which is there in quite a lot of watches. And it has 24 joules, 21,600 vibrations per hour, which ensures that it gives that nice sweeping motion, just like any other high-end automatic watch. So the next thing that we need is a watch case. So this watch case has a glass, bezel ring, chapter ring, and the crown attached and it also comes with a strap so i'm picking this one and i'm very specifically picking the red and black half bezel style which i tend to really like i think this dial should pretty much be perfect since um, it already says that it has a blue green luminous style which is standard for most of these kinds of divers watches and i really like this matte black thing which has like nice chrome accents so whenever you're picking hands for your watch, you have to be really careful of which type you're picking. So these ones specifically say that they fit the NH35 movement, NH35 and NH36. And always make sure that the loom of your hands matches the loom of your dial, or otherwise it just won't look good. So these are Rolex Submariner style hands and they have blue green luminous. So I'm gonna go with these. So this is a 212 piece watch opener and repair kit. I see that it has a case back opener, a vise, all the different screwdrivers and tools I would need to assemble this watch. So this is the final item that I'm ordering. And um, I think I'm gonna hit order on all the items that I've selected and wait until they come. And then after that, we're gonna transfer to the build section. You're not gonna have to wait for the build of this watch at all. I just wanted to cut the videos and organize them separately. There's links everywhere. Um, it's on screen, the iCard in the upper right hand corner, and even there's a link in the description. So you can go and watch that video right now and learn how I built that watch. And till then, my name is Vidant, this is Explorer Central, and I'll see you in the next one.